blesses are going to always know they're going to teach us and teach us. Amen. Glory to their God, glory to the Lord. Heavenly King, come for the spirit of truth, the way the world can tell us all things, which I be good in store of life. Come upon us, bless for every stain, and save our souls of good Lord. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, of grace in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, of grace in us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, of grace in us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages and ages. Amen. All holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, the gracious unto our sins, Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and the Son and Holy Spirit. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O come, let us worship and fall down before our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before Christ our King and God. O come, let us worship and fall down before him, Christ the King and our God. But have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, water my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from mine iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know mine iniquity, my sin is ever before me. Against the only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art judge. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou slept truth, the hidden and secret things of thy wisdom is not made known to me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The bones of the humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot away all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and God they shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from thy guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation. Thy tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, so my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I given it with hope and offering, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken, and help, O God, will not despise. To good, O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Zion, let the walls of Jerusalem be built in. Then shalt thou be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and hope burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. O God, be attentive unto helping me, O Lord, make haste to help me. Let them be shame and confounded that seek after my soul. Let them be turned back and brought to shame that desire evils against me. Let them be turned back straightway in shame that say unto me, Well done, well done. Let them be glad and rejoice in thee all that seek after thee, O God. And let them that love thy salvation say continually, The Lord be magnified. But as for me, I am poor and needy, O God, come unto my aid. My helper, my deliverer, thou, O Lord, make no long tarrying. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear unto my supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not to judge with thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth. He has sat me in darkness as those that have been long dead. And my spirit within me has become despondent within me, my heart is troubled. I remember days of old, I meditated on all thy works, I pondered on the creations of thy hands. I stretched forth my hands unto thee, my soul thirst after thee, like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord, my spirit fainted away. Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning from thee, if I put my hope. Cause me to know, Lord, the way when I shall walk from to thee, if I lift it up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee, if I fled for refuge. 
Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall aim in the land of uprightness, for thy name's sake, O Lord, shall thou quicken me. <coughs> in thy righteousness shall thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I'm thy servant. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace of will towards men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee. We give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heavenly King, God, the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit, O Lord, God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, that take us away the sin of the world, have mercy on us, and that take us away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer, thou that sittest at the right hand of the Father, and have mercy on us. For thou only art holy, thou only art Lord Jesus Christ, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Every day will I bless thee, and I will praise thy name forever, yea, forever and ever. Lord, thou hast been our refuge from generation to generation. I said, O Lord, have mercy on me, kill my soul, for I have sinned against thee. Lord, unto thee have I fled for refuge, teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. For in thee is the fountain of life, and thy light shall we see light. O continue thy mercy unto them that know thee. God save, O Lord, to keep us this night without sin. Blessed art thou, Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorified is thy name unto the ages. Amen. Let thy mercy, O Lord, be upon us according as we have hoped in thee. Blessed art thou, Lord, teach me thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Master, grant me understanding of thy statutes. Blessed art thou, Holy One, enlighten me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endureth forever, disdain not the works of thine hands. Unto thee is due praise, unto thee is due song, unto thee glory is due. To the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten not made, being of one essence with the Father by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the, Holy, and the Virgin Mary and became man and was crucified for us and upon Deus Pilate suffered and was buried and arose again on the third day according to the scriptures and ascended into the heavens, and sitteth at the right hand of the Father, and shall come again with glory to judge both living and dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeded from the Father, who with the Father and the Son together is worshiped and glorified, who spake by the prophets in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I confess one baptism for the remission of sins. I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the age to come. Amen. It is truly me to call thee, blessed Theotokos, the ever blessed and all immaculate and mother of our God, more honorable than the cherubim, the all compare more glorious than the seraphim. Thee without corruption gave us birth to God, the word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. I'll be gracious unto our sins. Master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and Son and Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts. We forgive our debtors and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Let the heavens rejoice, let earth and things be glad, for the Lord hath wrought might with his arm. He hath trampled upon death by death, the firstborn of the dead hath he become. From
from the belly of these hath he delivered us and hath granted great mercy to the world. Save, O Lord, thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Grant thou to the faithful victory over adversaries and by the power of thy cross. Do thou preserve thy commonwealth. Today is the fountainhead of our salvation and the manifestation of the mystery, which was from eternity. The Son of God becometh the virgin son, and Gabriel announceth the good tidings of grace. For this cause let us cry to the mother of God with him, Rejoice thou who art full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Glory. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Thou who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth are worship and glorified. O Christ God, who are long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and has mercy on sinners, who call us all to salvation through the promise of good things to come. Receive, O Lord, our prayers at this hour and guard our life toward thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us above with thy holy angels that guided and guarded by their reign. We may attain to the unity of faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou to the ages of ages, amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father and Son and Holy Spirit, both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. More honorable than the cherubim, the alchemy, more glorious than the seraphim. The who without corruption gave us birth to God the Word. The very Theotokosi do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Holy Father, bless. Amen, Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Save, help, and protect us, O Virgin Theotokos, O spotless, undefiled, incorrupt, immaculate, your Virgin Lady, Bride of God, who by thy wondrous conceiving hast united God, the Virgin Man, and joined the outcast nature of our race to heavenly things, O only hope of the hopeless, the succor, the embattled, the ready help of them that have recourse to thee, and refuge of all Christians. Before me not the sinner, the accursed one, who have all together made myself unprofitable by shameful thoughts, words, and deeds, and with the heart seize of life's pleasures, and become a thrall in mine. But as a mother, the man befriending God, do thou, man befriending wise, take pity upon me, a sinner and prodigal, and receive my supplication, offer thee an unclean lips, and using thy boldness as a mother, entreat thy son or master and lord, that he may open even unto me the loving compassions of his goodness, and that overlooking mine innumerable trespasses, he would turn me to repentance, and make me the approver of his commandments, and be thou ever with me as our merciful and compassionate, and the lover of good, being in this life a fervent protectress and help, to defend me from the assaults of adversaries, and guide me unto salvation, and in the hour of my departure to care for my wretched soul, and drive far from <coughs> the dark continences of evil demons, and in the terrible day of judgment to deliver me from eternal torment, and show me forth as an heir of the unspeakable glory of thy Son and our God. This be my Lord, O my Lady, most holy Theotokos, by thy mediation and help to the grace and love for man of thine only begotten Son, our Lord and God and Savior Jesus Christ, to whom is to all glory, honor, and worship with his Father, which is without beginning, and is all holy, good, and life creating spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. And grant us, O Master, when we go to sleep, repose the body and soul, and keep us from the murky slumbering of sin and every dark voluptuousness of night. Calm the violence of the passions, quench the fiery darts of the evil one, which are treacherously hurled against us. 
Subdue the rebellions of our flesh and quell our every earthly and material thought and grant unto us, O God, a watchful mind and chase thought of sober heart and sleep light and free from all satanic fantasies and raise us up at the hour of prayer establish in thy commandments and holding the remembrance of thy judgments unshakable within us grant us to him thy glory all the night long that we may praise and bless and glorify thine all honored and majestical name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages amen most glorious ever virgin blessed theotokos present our prayer to thy son and our god and pray that through thee he would save our souls my hope is the father my refuge the son my shelter the holy spirit O holy trinity glory be to thee unto thee do i commit my never hope O mother of god guard me under thy shelter in thee o full of grace all creation both the company of angels and the race of men doth rejoice O hallowed temple and spiritual paradise, host of virgins from thee, God, was incarnate and became a child. He, our God, who existed before the ages, for he made thy womb a throne, and he made thee more spacious than the heavens. In thee, O full of grace, all creation doth rejoice. Glory be to thee. O holy angel, attendant of my wretched soul, my afflicted life, forsake me not a sinner, neither depart from me from my incontinency. Give no place to the evil demon to subdue me with the oppression of this mortal body, but take me by my wretched and outstretched hand and lead me the way of salvation. Yea, O holy angel of God, the guardian and protector of my hapless soul and body, forgive me all things whatsoever wherewith I have troubled thee all the days of my life. And if I have sinned in anything this day, shelter me in this present night and keep me from every affront of the enemy, lest I anger God by any sin and intercede with the Lord in my behalf that he might strengthen me in the fear of him and make me a worthy servant of his goodness. Amen. O Theotokos and Virgin, rejoice and Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, for thou hast born the saving of our souls. O Theotokos and Virgin, rejoice and Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, for thou hast born the Savior of our souls. <coughs> glory to thee, God of all, glory to thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy, Lord, mercy. Holy Father, bless. He that arose from the day, Christ has put down by the intercession for the God of Mary, who is now born in this holy mother, whose denunciation we celebrate by the power and the honor of life bearing cross, whose worship we celebrate by the protection of the Bible, and body spired by supplication of the Bible, God's prophet, Paul and the Baptist John, for the holy glories of the apostles, the holy glories of victorious martyrs, for our and God bearing fathers, for the holy glories of Paul's own evangelist, John and theologian, virgin, but not the sight of our word, and of our Bible, among the saints, great upon the mass, archbishop, that's the Lord's name. The Holy Righteous Sanctuary, God, your kingdom, and Amen. Our Righteous Father, the Lucas, the workers of science, the Holy Martyrs, the Holy Dean, the Holy Saint, the Holy Martyr, and an executioner who uh, confessed Christ and was cast into a gloomy dungeon, our Father, and the Saints, Deacon, the Confessor, Patriarch of Moscow, which memory keep it well safe, have mercy us and save us, and have mercy on us, and have mercy on us. Let us pray for the peace of the world. Lord, have mercy. For Christ and Orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy. For Metropolitan Gregory. Lord, have mercy. For Mother and Abbess Seraphim and Aunt Pilgrimus and all her sinity and cry. Lord, have mercy. For absent mothers and sisters. Lord, have mercy. For those that minister and have ministered unto us. Lord, have mercy. For those that hate us and those that love us. Lord, have mercy. For those that have enjoyed us and are worthy to pray for them. Lord, have mercy. For the relief of captives. Lord have mercy. The safety of those that travel by sea and land. Lord have mercy. For those that are lying ill. Lord have mercy. Let us pray also for the abundance of fruits of the earth and the soul of every Orthodox Christian. Lord have mercy. Let us bless the Pied King, the Orthodox Bishop, the Fountain, the Holy Convent, our parents and teachers, and all our mother and sister who come to rest before us. The Orthodox here never were pious, they laid to rest. Eternally be their memory. And let us say also for ourselves. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. On my deputy, on my virginity. 
They alliance right after they pray and seeking their food from God. The sun ariseth and they are gathered together, and they lay them down in their dens. But man shall go forth into his work and to his labor to the evening. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom hast thou made them all. The earth is filled with thy creation. So is this great and spacious sea. There are no things creeping and evil, small living creatures with the great. There go the ships, here this dragon whom thou hast made to play therein. All things wait in it to give them their food in due season. When thou givest it them, they will gather it. When thou openest thy hand, all things shall be filled with goodness. When thou turnest away thy face, they shall be troubled. Thou wilt take their spirit, and they shall cease, and unto thee thou shalt return. Thou wilt send forth thy spirit, and they shall be created, and thou shalt renew the face of the earth. Let the glory of the Lord be unto the ages. The Lord rejoice in his works. Who looketh on the earth, and make it, and make it the tremble of the mountains, and they smoke. <coughs> I will sing unto the Lord throughout my life, I will chant to my God for as long as I have my being. May my words be sweet unto him, and I will rejoice in the Lord. O that sinners would cease from the earth, and they that work iniquity, that they should be no more. Bless the Lord, O my soul. The sun knoweth his going down, thou appointest the darkness, and there is the night. How magnified are thy works, O Lord, and wisdom has some made them all. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both thou and ever unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Alleluia, 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 glory to your God. Our hope, O Lord, glory be to you. Lord, have mercy. Serve ye the Lord with fear, rejoice in him with trembling. 
You may hold an instruction less than any time. The Lord be our need to perish on the righteous way. When quickly his wrath be kindled, blessed are they that put their trust in him. O Lord, why are they multiplied that afflict me? Many rise up against me. Many say unto my soul, There is no salvation for him and his God. But thou, Lord, art my helper, my glory, and the lifter up on my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I lay me down and slept. I woke, for the Lord will help me. I'll not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Now rise, O Lord, say when my God, without smitten on without cause of mine enemies, the teeth of sinners hast the broken. Salvation is of the Lord, and blessings upon thy people. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. When I called upon thee, O God of my righteousness, thou dost hearken unto me, and mine affliction thou dost enlarge me. Have compassion on me and hear my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will ye be slow of heart? Why do you love vanity and seek after falsehood? Know also that the Lord has made one as his holy one. The Lord will hearken unto me when I cry to him. Be angry and sin not feel compunction upon your beds for what you say in your hearts. Sacrifice the sacrifice of righteousness and hope in the Lord. Many say, Who is one those good things? The light of thy countenance, O Lord, hath been signed upon us. Thou hast given gladness to my heart. From the fruit of the wheat, wine, and oil are they multiplied. In peace in the same place I shall lay me down and sleep. For thou, Lord, alone hast made me to dwell in hope. Unto my words give you, O Lord, hear my cry. Attend unto the voice of my supplication, O my King and my God. For unto thee will I pray, O Lord. In the morning thou shalt hear my voice, in the morning shall I stand before thee. And thou shalt look upon me, for not a God that willest to iniquity art thou. He that worketh evil shall not dwell near thee, nor so transgresses abide before thine eyes. Thou hast saved all them that work iniquity, thou shalt destroy all them that speak a lie. A man that is led in deceitful shall the Lord abhor, but as for me and the multitude of thy mercy shall I go unto thy house. I shall worship towards the holy temple in fear of thee. O Lord, guide me the way of thy righteousness, because mine enemies make straight my way before thee. For in their mouth there is no truth, their heart is vain, their throat is an open sepulchre. With their tongues have they spoken deceitfully, judge them, O God. Let them fall down on account of their own devisings, according to the multitude of their ungodliness. Cast them out, for they have been thee, O Lord. And let all them be glad that open thee. They shall have rejoice, and thou shalt dwell among them. And also glory thee that love thy name for thou so blessed the righteous. O Lord, is with the shield of thy good pleasure hast thou crowned us. O Lord, rebuke me not in thy name, nor chase me in thy wrath. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am weak. Heal me, O Lord, for my bones are troubled, and my soul is troubled greatly. But thou, O Lord, how long? Turn to me again, O Lord, deliver my soul. Save me for thy mercy's sake. For in death there is none that is mindful of thee, and in Hades will confess thee. I told her my groaning of an idol will wash my bed, with tears while I water my couch. Through wrath is when I become troubled, and roll rolled among all mine enemies. Depart from me, all ye that work vanity, for the Lord hath heard the voice of my weeping. The Lord hath heard my supplication, the Lord has received my prayer. Let all mine enemies be greatly put to shame and be troubled. Let them be turned back and speedily be greatly put to shame. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Glory to you, God, all the only only glory to you, God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Fall down every night of the beast and ages on end. O Lord my God, in thee have I put my hope. Save me from them that persecute me, and do thou deliver me. <coughs> Lest at any time like a lion he sees my soul, when there is none to redeem me nor to save. O Lord my God, if I have done this, if there be injustice in my hands, if I pay back evil to them, the rent evil unto me, then let me fall back empty from mine enemies. Then let the enemy pursue my soul and take it, and let it turn down my life into the earth, and my glory let him bring down into the dust. Now rise, O Lord, in thine anger, exalt thyself to the furthest boundaries of thine enemies, and arouse thyself, O Lord my God, from the commandment which thou hast enjoined. And the congregation of people shall surround thee, and for their sakes return thou on high. O Lord, save. O the Lord shall judge the peoples. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness, and according to my innocence within me. Let the wickedness of sinners be ended, and do that God, the righteous man of God, that searches out the hearts and reins. Righteous is my help from God, and save the them that are upright of heart. God is a judge that is righteous, strong and forbearing, and afflicteth not wrath every day. Unless he be converted, his glittering sword shall be perjured. He has bent his bow and hath made it ready, and on it he hath made ready the instruments of death. His arrows for them the rage hotly hath he perfected. Behold, he is in travail with unrighteousness. He hath conceived toil and brought forth iniquity. He openeth it and dug it, and he shall fall into the hole which he hath made. His toil shall return upon his own head, and upon his own page shall his unrighteousness come down. I will give praise unto the Lord according to his righteousness, and I'll chant unto the name of the Lord Most High. 
O Lord, O Lord, how wonderful is thy name in all the earth, for thy magnificence is lifted high above the heavens. Out of the mouths of babes and sucklings hast thou perfected praise, because of thine enemies to destroy the enemy and avenger. For I'll behold the heavens, the works of thy fingers, the moon and the stars which thou hast founded. What is man that thou art mindful of him, or the son of man that thou visitest him? Thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, with glory and honor hast thou crowned him, and thou hast set him over the works of thy hands. All things hast thou subjected under his feet, sheep and all oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the birds of the air, and the fish of the sea, that things have passed through the paths of the sea. O Lord, our Lord, how wonderful is thy name in all the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, now and to the age of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory be to thee. Lord have mercy. Out for my soul. I have cried a 
to be a Lord of sin, the Lord my hope, my portion also in the land of the living. Attend unto my supplication, for I am brought very low. Deliver me from them that persecute me, for they are stronger than I. Bring my soul out of prison, that I may confess thy name. By the cross of Christ our Savior, the dominion of death hath been destroyed, and the deception of the devil hath been abolished. And the race of men, having been saved by faith, that daily offer praise to thee. The righteous shall wait patiently for me, <coughs> until thou shalt reward me. All things have been enlightened by thy resurrection, O Lord, and paradise is opened again. And whilst I claim thee, the whole of creation, that through thee offer praise to thee. Out of the depths I cried unto thee, O Lord, O Lord, hear my voice. I glorify the might of the Father and the Son and the power of the Holy Spirit to I praise. Even the indivisible and created God, the Trinity, one in essence, reigning unto eternity forever. Then I hear the attentive to the voice of my supplication, thy precious cross to the word. O Christ, and thy resurrection do we praise and glorify, for by thy wounding are we all Coming to 
revealed you to be the counsel which was determined from before eternity. Gabriel saluted thee, crying up rejoice, all the earth ever sung, for shepherd rejoice, for rejoice thou that are raised on high, with which Jacob saw a boat, rejoice thou that the fathom do not explore. Rejoice thou, which which leadest up to the highest heaven, rejoice divine, vessel of the Lana. Rejoice, complete destruction of the curse. We call of Adam to God, rejoice with thee as the Lord most high. O oh, praise the nations, praise him, all ye peoples. To the chief of heaven's host, the undefiled answered, Thou dost seem to be a man. How is it that thou dost speak things beyond man's strength? For thou hast said to me, That God shall be with me, and shall make his dwelling in my womb. Tell me, I pray of thee, how shall I be called of the spacious land? And dwelling place of holiness, for him that doth ride on the cherubim, do thou not beguile me. Deceitfully for pleasure I know not, neither in my luck have I been young. How then shall I bear a child? For he hath made his mercy to prevail over us, and the truth of the Lord abideth forever. Wheresoever God doth will, their nature's order is conquered. Speak he that his body lives, and that which exceedeth man that is brought to pass. O thou all holy man, pure that all tell thee, now believe these truthful words of mine. She cried aloud to him, be it unto me, now as thou hast said, and I shall bear the fleshless one, who shall borrow flesh from me, so that he, who alone is able, like the man back up to his first estate, and each in dignity once again by his union with the race. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Christ our God, who didst accept thy voluntary Of the race of man. 
in Haran. And he came upon a certain place and slept there because the sun was set. And he took the stones of that place and put them for his pillows and lay down in that place to sleep. And he dreamed and behold a ladder set up on the earth and the top of it reached to heaven. And behold the angels of God ascending and descending on it. And behold the Lord stood above it and said, I am the God of Abraham thy father and the God of Isaac. Fear not the land whereon thou liest. To thee will I give it and to thy seed. And thy seed shall be as the sand of the earth. And it shall spread abroad to the sea, and to the south, and to the north, and to the east. And in thee and thy seed shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. And behold, I am with thee, and I will keep thee in all places whither thou goest, and will bring thee again into this land. For I will not forsake thee until I have done all that which I have spoken to thee of. And Jacob awaked out of his sleep, and he said, The Lord is in this place, and I know it not. And he was afraid, and said, How dreadful is this place! This is none other but the house of God, and this is the gate of heaven. The reading is from the prophecy of Ezekiel. Upon the eighth day, and so forward, the priests shall make your whole burnt offerings upon the altar, and your peace offerings, and I will accept you, saith the Lord. Then he brought me back by the way of the outer gate of the sanctuary, which looketh toward the east, and it was shut. And the Lord said to me, said unto me, This gate shall be shut, it shall not be opened. And no man shall enter in by it, because the Lord, the God of Israel, shall enter in by it, and it shall be shut. For this prince shall sit on it to eat bread before the Lord. He shall enter by the way of the porch of that gate, and shall come forth by the way of the same. And he brought me by the way of the north gate of the sanctuary before the house, and I looked, and behold, the house of the Lord was full of glory. The reading is from the book of Proverbs. Wisdom hath built herself a house, and hath established seven pillars. She hath killed her beasts, she hath mingled her wine, she hath also prepared her table. She hath sent forth her servants, making invitation as to a feast with a loud proclamation, and saying, Musa was foolish, let him turn aside to me. As for them that want understanding, she saith, <coughs> Come, eat of my bread, and drink of the wine which I have mingled for you. Forsake foolishness, and ye shall live, and go in search of understanding, that ye may live, and achieve understanding in knowledge. He that reproveth evil men getteth to himself shame. And he that rebuketh an ungodly man shall himself be blamed. For rebukes unto the ungodly are as wounds to him. Reprove not evil men, lest they hate thee. Rebuke a wise man, and he will love thee. Give occasion to a wise man, and he will become yet wiser. Teach a just man, and he will receive more learning. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom, and the counsel of saints is understanding. For to know the law is the property of a good mind. For in this wise shall the love live long, and years of life shall be added to thee. <coughs> Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our brethren, priest, priest, monk, deacon, cousin, monk, son, and all the sisterhood in Christ. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our delight, peace, health, salvation, visitation, pardon, and remission of the sins of all Christ, Orthodox Christian, our mother, and the seraphim, and none still of us. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for the blessed and the end, ever memorable found in this holy covenant for all our mothers and sisters, mothers and boys, the Orthodox here in the world, kind of these days of bread. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Again we pray for our sisters who are about to pass the men that are waiting for all the benefactors of past and present. Lord have mercy.
Vouch save the Lord to give us a seem without sin. Bless your thou, Lord, the God of our fathers, and praise and glorify us, and even to the ages of men. Let thy mercy, Lord, be upon us according as we hope to thee. Bless your thou, Lord, teach me thy statutes. Bless your thou, Master, grant me understanding thy statutes. Bless your thou, Holy One, and light me by thy statutes. O Lord, thy mercy endureth forever, disdain not the works of thy hands. Unto thee is your praise, unto thee is your song. Unto thee glory is due to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. So let us from Peter in the first of Lord, have mercy.
O Christ, who by thy passion didst darken the sun, and who by the light of the resurrection didst make all things radiant with joy, accept our evening hymn, O friend of man. The Lord is King of God and Majesty, the Lord is God for strength, and he appeared to himself. Thy light bring in the rising, O Lord, hath enlightened the whole world, and hath restored thy corrupted creation. Wherefore, being delivered from the curse of Adam, we cry out, O Almighty Lord, glory be to thee. For you establish the world that shall not be shaken, being on the subject to change, though those undergone change was suffering in the flesh. Not enduring to see thee suspended, creation was shaken by fear, and with groanings praised thy long suffering. Having descended into Hades, thou didst arise on the third day, granting to the world life and great mercy. Thou hast after God death that thou mightest redeem our race from death, O Christ, and rising from the dead on the third day, thou didst raise with thyself them that acknowledge thee to be God, and thou didst enlighten the world, Lord, glory be to thee. Glory, glory to the Father and to Let us who in him and through 
heaven. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and even into the ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, to grace us unto our sins, master, pardon our iniquities. Holy one, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, and the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and on earth, and the kingdom of the Amen. <clears throat> Blessed be the name of the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. Blessed be the name of the Lord from henceforth and forevermore. Oh, bless 
the Lord at all times, his grace will continually be in my mouth, and the Lord shall also be praised of the name here and declared. O magnify the Lord for me, and let us exalt his name together. I sought the Lord, and he heard me, and delivered me from all my tribulations. Come unto him, be enlightened, and your faces shall not be ashamed. This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his tribulations. The angel of the Lord will encamp round about them that fear him, will deliver them. O taste and see that the Lord is good, blessed is the man that hopeth in him. O fear the Lord, all ye saints, for there is no one to them that fear him. Rich men have turned poor and God hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not be deprived of any good thing. Rich men have turned poor and God hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not be deprived of any Rich men have turned poor and gone hungry, but they that seek the Lord shall not be deprived of any good thing. Lord have mercy. Amen. The reading is the first homily of our Holy Father, Gregory, surnamed Thaumaturgus, the Wonder Worker, Bishop of Neo Caesarea in Pontus, on the Annunciation to the Most Holy Virgin Mary, Mother of God. Holy Father, bless. Amen. Today, our strains of praise, sung joyfully by the choir of angels, and the light of the advent of Christ shines brightly upon the faithful. Today is the glad springtime to us, and Christ, the Son of Righteousness, has beamed with clear light around us and has illumined the minds of the faithful. Today is Adam made anew and moves in the choir of angels, having winged his way to heaven. Today is the whole circle of the earth filled with joy since the sojourn of the Holy Spirit has been realized to men. Today the grace of God and the hope of the unseen shine through all wonders transcending imagination and make the mystery that was kept hid from eternity plainly discernible to us. Today are woven the garlands of never-fading virtue. Today God, willing to crown the sacred heads of those whose pleasure is to hearken to him and who delight in his festivals, invites the lovers of unswerving faith as his called and his heirs, and the heavenly kingdom is urgent to summon those who love celestial things to join the divine service of the incorporeal choirs. Today is fulfilled the word of David, let the heavens rejoice and let the earth be glad. The fields shall be joyful and all the trees of the wood before the Lord, because he com for he cometh. David thus made mention of the trees, and the Lord's forerunner also spoke of them as trees that should bring forth fruits meet for repentance, or rather for the coming of the Lord. But our Lord Jesus Christ promises perpetual gladness to all those who believe in him. For he says, I will see you and ye shall rejoice and your joy no man taketh from you. Today is the illustrious and ineffable mystery of Christians who have willingly set their hope like a seal upon Christ, plainly declared to us. Today did Gabriel, who stands by God, come to the pure virgin, bearing to her the glad annunciation, Rejoice, thou who art full of grace. And she cast in her mind what manner of salutation this might be. And the angel immediately proceeded to say, The Lord is with thee, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shall call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David, and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? Shall I still remain a virgin? Is the honor of virginity not then lost by me? And while she was yet in perplexity as to these things, the angel placed shortly before her the summary of, the whole, of his whole message, and said to the pure virgin, The Holy Spirit shall come upon thee, and the power of the Most High shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that Holy One which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. For what he is, that also shall he be called by all means. Meekly then did grace make election of the pure Mary alone out of all generations, for she proved herself prudent truly in all things, 
neither has any woman been born like her in all generations. She was not like the first virgin, Eve, who, keeping holiday alone in paradise, with thoughtless mind, unguardedly hearkened to the word of the serpent, the author of all evil, and thus became depraved in the thoughts of her mind, and through her that deceiver, discharging his poison and infusing death with it, brought it un into the whole world. And because of this has arisen all the trouble of the saints. But in the Holy Virgin alone is the fall of that first mother repaired. Yet this Holy One was not competent to receive the gift until she had first learned who it was that sent it, and what the gift was, and who it was that conveyed it. While the Holy One pondered these things in, per in perplexity with, with herself, she says to the angel, From where have you brought to us the blessing in such wise? Out of what treasure stores is the pearl of the word dispatched to us? From where has the gift acquired its purpose towards us? From heaven thou art come, yet thou walkest upon the earth. Thou dost exhibit the form of a man, and yet thou art glorious with dazzling light. These things the Holy One considered with herself, and the archangel solved the difficulty expressed in such reasonings by saying to her, The Holy Spirit shall come upon thee, and the power of the Most High shall overshadow thee. Therefore also the, that Holy One which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And fear not, Mary, for I am not come to overpower thee with fear, but to repel the subject of fear. Do not fear, Mary, for thou hast found favor with God. Do not question grace by the standard of nature, for grace does not endure to pass under the laws of nature. You, thou knowest, Mary, things kept hid from the patriarchs and prophets. Thou hast learned, O virgin, things which were kept concealed until now from the angels. Thou hast heard, O purest one, things of which even the choir of God-bearers was never deemed worthy. Moses and David and Isaiah and Daniel and all the prophets prophesied of him, but the manner they knew not. Yet thou alone, O purest virgin, art now made the recipient of things which all these were kept of which all these were kept in ignorance, and thou dost learn the origin of them. For where the Holy Spirit is, there are all things readily ordered. Where divine grace is present, all things are found possible with God. The Holy Spirit shall come upon thee, and the power of the Most High shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that Holy One which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And if he is the Son of God, then he is also God, of one form with the Father, and co-eternal. In him the Father possesses all manifestation. He is his image in the person, and through his reflection the Father's glory shines forth. And as from the ever-flowing fountain the streams proceed, so also from this ever-flowing and ever-living fountain does the light of the world proceed, the perennial and the true, namely Christ our God. For it is of this that the prophets have preached, the rushings of the rivers make glad the city of God. And not on only one city, but all cities, for even as it makes glad one city, so does it the whole also the whole world. Appropriately, therefore, did the angel say to Mary, the Holy Virgin, first of all, Rejoice, O full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Inasmuch as with her was laid up the full treasure of grace, for of all generations she alone has risen as a virgin pure in body and in spirit, and she alone bears him who bears all things on his word. Nor is it only the beauty of this Holy One in body that calls forth our admiration, but also the innate virtue of her soul. Wherefore also the angel addressed her first with the salutation, Rejoice, thou who art full of grace, the Lord is with thee, and no spouse of earth. He himself is with thee, who is the Lord of sanctification, the Father of purity, the author of incorruption, and the bestower of liberty, the curator of salvation, and the steward and provider of the true peace, who out of the virgin earth made man, and out of man's side formed Eve in addition, even this Lord is with thee, and on the other hand also is of thee. Come therefore, beloved brethren, and let us take up the angelic strain, and to the utmost of our ability return the due meed of praise, saying, Rejoice, thou who art full of grace, the Lord is with thee. For it is tr thine truly to rejoice, seeing that the grace of God, as he knows, has chosen to dwell with thee, the Lord of glory dwelling with the handmaiden, he that is fairer than the sons of men with the fair virgin. 
He who sanctifies all things with the, un, with the undefiled. God is with thee, and with thee also is the perfect man in whom dwells the whole <coughs> of the Godhead. Rejoice thou who art full of grace, the fountain of the light that lightens <coughs> thee to believe upon him. Rejoice thou who art full of grace, the rising of the noetic sun, and the undefiled flower of life. Rejoice thou who art full of grace, the meadow of sweet savor, the ever-blooming vine that makes rejoice thou who art full of grace, the ever-blooming vine that makes glad the souls of those who honor thee. Rejoice thou who art full of grace, the soil that all untilled bears bounteous fruit. For thou hast brought forth in accordance with the law of nature indeed, as it goes with us, and by the set time of conception, and yet in a way beyond nature, or rather above nature, by reason that God, the word from above, took his abode in thee, and formed the new Adam in thy holy womb, and inasmuch as the Holy Spirit gave the power of conception to the Holy Virgin, and the reality of his body was assumed from her body. And just as the pearl comes of the two natures, namely lightning and water, the occult signs of the sea, so also our Lord Jesus Christ proceeds without fusion and without mutation from the pure and chaste and undefiled and holy Virgin, Mary, perfect in divinity and perfect in humanity, in all things equal to the Father, and in all things consubstantial with us apart from sin. Most of the holy fathers and patriarchs and prophets desired to see him and to be eyewitnesses of him and did not attain hereto. And some of them by visions beheld him in type and darkly. Others again were privileged to hear the divine voice through the medium of the cloud and were favored with sights of holy angels. But to Mary the pure virgin alone did the archangel Gabriel manifest himself luminously, bringing her the glad address Rejoice, thou who art full of grace. And thus she received the word, and in due time of the fulfillment of the, and in due, and in due, and in the due time of the fulfillment according to the body's course, she brought forth the priceless pearl. Come then, ye too, dearly beloved, and let us chant the melody which has been taught us by the inspired harp of David, and say, Arise, O Lord, into thy rest, thou and the ark of thy holiness. For the holy, holy virgin is in truth an ark wrought with gold both within and without, that has received the whole treasury of the sanctuary. Arise, O Lord, into thy rest. Arise, O Lord, out of the bosom of the Father, in order that thou mayest raise up the fallen race of the first-formed man. Setting these things forth, David in prophecy said to the rod that was to spring from himself and to sprout into the flower of that beauteous fruit, Hearken, O daughter, and see, and incline thine ear, and forget thine own people and thy father's house. So shall the king greatly desire thy beauty, for he is the Lord thy God, and thou shalt worship him. Hearken, O daughter, to the things which were prophesied before time of thee, in order that thou mayest also behold the things themselves with the eyes of understanding. Hearken to, the, to me while I announce things beforehand to thee, and hearken to the archangel who declares expressly to thee the perfect mysteries. Come then, dearly beloved, and let us fall back on the memory of what has gone before us, and let us glorify and celebrate and, and praise and bless that rod that has sprung so marvelously from <coughs> Jesse. For Luke, in the inspired gospel narratives, delivers a testimony not to Joseph only, but also to Mary, the mother of God, and gives this account with reference to the very family and house of David. He says, For Joseph went up from Galilee, into a city of Judea, which is called Bethlehem, to be taxed with Mary his espoused wife, being great with child, because they were of the house and family of David. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished that she should be delivered, and she brought forth her son, the firstborn of the whole creation, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, <coughs> because there was no room for them in the inn. She wrapped in swaddling clothes him who was who is covered with light as with a garment. <coughs> she wrapped in swaddling clothes him who made every creature. She laid in a manger him who sits above the cherubim and is praised by myriads of angels. In the manger set apart for dumb beasts did the word of God rest in order that he might impart to men who are really irrational by free choice the perceptions of true reason. In the board from which cattle eat was the was laid the heavenly bread, or the bread of life, in order that he might provide participation in spiritual sustenance for men who live like the beasts of the earth. 
nor was there even room for him in the inn. He found no place, who by his word established heaven and earth. For though he was rich, for our sakes he became poor, and chose extreme humiliation on behalf of the salvation of our nature, in his inherent goodness towards us. He who fulfilled, he who fulfilled the whole ordering of the unutterable mysteries of the economy in heaven, in the bosom of the Father, and in the cave in the arms of his mother, reposed in the manger. Angel choirs encircled him, singing of glory in heaven and of peace upon earth. In heaven he was seated <coughs> at the right hand of the Father, and in the manger he rested, as it were, upon the cherubim. Even there was, his, was in truth his cherubic throne. There was his royal seat, holy of the holy, and alone glorious upon the earth, and holier than the holy was that wherein Christ our God rested. To him be glory, honor, and power, together with the Father undefiled, and the altogether holy and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace be among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace be among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace be among men. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, my mouth shall declare thy praise. O Lord, I may multiply, that will make me many rise up against me. Many say unto my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But thou, O Lord, art my help, or my glory, the lifter up of my head. I cried unto the Lord with my voice, and he heard me out of his holy mountain. I lay me down and slept, and I woke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people that set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, save me, O my God, for thou hast smitten all the wicked cause of mine enemies. The teeth of sinners hast thou broken, salvation is of the Lord, and thy blessing is upon thy people. I lay me down and slept, I woke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in thine anger, nor chasten me in thy wrath, for thine arrows have fastened in me, and thou hast laid thy hand heavily upon me. There is no healing in my flesh in the face of thy wrath, and there is no peace of my bones in the face of my sins. For mine iniquities are risen higher than my head is a heavy burden, have they press heavily upon me. My bruises have become noisome and corrupt in the face of my folly. I have been wretched and utterly bowed down until the end all the day long I went with downcast face. For my loins are filled with mockings, and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and humble exceedingly. I have roared from the groaning of my heart. O Lord, before thee is all my desire, and my groaning is not hid from thee. My heart is troubled, my strength hath failed me, the light of mine eyes, even this is not with me. My friends and my neighbors turned I over against me and stood, and my nearest akin stood afar off. And they that sought after my soul used violence, and they that sought evils for me spake vain things, and craftiness is all the day long to they meditate. But as for me, like a deaf man, I heard them not, and was as a speechless man that openeth not his mouth. And I became as a man that heareth not, that hath in his mouth no reproach. For in thee have I hoped, O Lord, thou hearken unto me, O Lord my God. For I said, and ever mine enemies rejoice over me. Yea, when my feet were shaken, those men spake boastful words against me. For I am ready for scourges, and my sorrows continually before me. For I will declare mine iniquity, and I will take heed concerning my sin. But mine enemies live in a maid stronger than I. They that hate me and just say multiply. They that render me evil for good slander me, because I pursue goodness. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord, my salvation. Forsake me not, O Lord my God, depart not from me. Be attentive unto my help, O Lord, of my salvation. O God, my God, unto thee arise early at dawn, my soul of thirsty for thee. How often hath my flesh longed after thee, and all I am barren and untrodden and unwatered. So in this sanctuary have I appear before thee to see thy power and thy glory. For thy mercy is better than lies, my lips shall praise thee. So shall I bless thee in my life, and in thy name will I lift up my hands. As with marrow and fatness shall my soul be filled, and with lips of rejoicing shall my mouth praise thee. If I remember thee on my bed at the dawn and meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper in the shelter of thy wings while I rejoice. My soul I cleaved after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. But as for these in vain of thee, son after my soul, they shall go into the nethermost parts of the earth. They shall be surrendered unto the edge of the sword, portions with boxes shall they be. But the king shall be glad in God, and God shall be praised, that sweareth by him. 
for the mouth of them and stop to speak unjust things. At the dawn I meditated on thee, for thou art become my helper in the shelter of thy wings, will I rejoice. My soul I claimed after thee, thy right hand hath been quick to help me. Glory to the Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day, by crown, by night, before thee, let my prayer come before thee, bow down thy ear to my supplication. For fill with evils is my soul, and my life unto his hath drawn nigh. I am counted with them that go down into the pit, and become as a man without help, free among the dead. Like the bodies of the slain that sink in the grave, and thou rememberest no more, and they are cut off from thy hand. They lay in the lowest pit in darkness and in the shadow of death. Against me is thy anger made strong, and all thy billows have suffered upon me. Thou hast removed my friends afar from me. They make me an abomination unto themselves. I have been delivered up, and have not come forth. My eyes have grown weak from poverty. I have cried unto thee, O Lord, the holy long. I stretch out my hands unto thee. Nay, for the devil, thou work wonders, or shall physicians raise them up that they may give thanks unto thee? Nay, shall any in the grave tell of thy mercy and of thy truth and thy destruction? Nay, shall thy wonders be known in thy darkness and thy righteousness and thy light that is forgotten? But as for me unto thee, O Lord, have I cried, and in the morning shall my prayer come before thee. Wherefore, O Lord, dost thou cast off my soul and turn us thy face away from me? O oh, poor man of mine in troubles from my youth, they haven't been exalted, I was humble and brought to distress. Thy furies have passed upon me, thy terrors have solely troubled me. They came round about me like water all the day long, they compassed me about together. <coughs> Thou hast removed afar from me, friend and neighbor, my acquaintances, because of my misery. O Lord, God of my salvation, by day, by crime, by night before thee, let my prayer come before thee, bow down the ear to my supplication. Bless the Lord of my soul and all that is with him, and bless his holy name. Bless the Lord of my soul and forget not all that he hath done for thee. For is gracious unto all thine iniquities, who healeth all thine infirmities, who redeemeth thy life from corruption, who crowneth thee with mercy and compassion, who fulfilleth thy desire with good things, that you shall be renewed as the eagles. The Lord performed deeds of mercy and executed judgment for all them that are wrong. He hath made his ways known unto Moses, unto the sons of Israel, the things that he hath will. Compassionate and merciful is the Lord, long suffering and plenteous of mercy. Not unto the end will he be angry, neither unto eternity will he be wrath. Not according to our iniquities hath he dealt with us, neither according to our sins hath he rewarded us. For according to the height of heaven from the earth, the Lord hath made his mercy to prevail over them that fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far they removed our iniquities from us. Like as a father compassion upon his sons, with the Lord in compassion upon them that fear him. For he knoweth wherever you may be, and remember that we are dust. As for man, his days arise of grass, as a flower of the earth <coughs> shall only blossom forth. For when the wind is passed over it, then it shall be gone, and no longer will it know the place thereof. But the mercy of the Lord is from eternity, even unto eternity, upon them that fear him. And his righteousness is upon sons of sons, upon them that keep his testament, and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord in heaven hath prepared his throne, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, all ye his angels, mighty in strength, that perform his word, hear the voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all ye his hosts, his ministers, and to his will. Bless the Lord, all ye his works in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, in every place of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer, give ear to my supplication in thy truth. Hearken unto me in thy righteousness, and enter not into judgment thy servant. For in thy sight shall no man living be justified. For the enemy hath persecuted my soul, he hath humbled my life down to the earth. He has sat me in darkness as those that have been long dead. And my spirit within me has become despondent within me. My heart is troubled. I remember days of old. I meditated on all my works. I pondered on the creations of my hands. I stretched forth my hands unto thee. My soul thirsted <coughs> after thee like a waterless land. Quickly hear me, O Lord. My spirit fainted away. 
Turn not thy face away from me, lest I be like unto them that go down into the pit. Cause me to hear thy mercy in the morning, for thee if I put my hope. Cause me to know, Lord, the way when I shall walk, for unto thee if I lifted up my soul. Rescue me from mine enemies, O Lord, unto thee if I put for refuge. Teach me to do thy will, for thou art my God. Thy good spirit shall name in the land of uprightness, for thy name's sake, O Lord, shall thou quicken me. In thy righteousness shalt thou bring my soul out of affliction, and in thy mercy shalt thou utterly destroy mine enemies. And thou shalt cut off all them that afflict my soul, for I am thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not to judge with thy servant. Hearken unto me, O Lord, in thy righteousness, and enter not to judge with thy servant. Thy good spirit shall be in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father, and Son, and Holy Spirit, come down and open unto the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Our hope, O Lord, glory be to thee. Lord, have mercy. Point thee to my bosom for the salvation of our souls that have prayed the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Point thee to the whole world, the good is faithful, the church of the Father, the union of all the faithful that is faithful. Lord, have mercy. Point thee to my house, the family, the service, and the family, the prayer, and the praise of all. Clear on 
resurrection and resurrection. On this day it's done, despoiled, stripped his Hades of all his goods. Adam's race of the good are in corruption as fair a reign. Be faithful, therefore cry with thanksgiving. Christ, glory to thy resurrection. All of creation is exceeding glad today. For the Lord's we are king, Jehoiath, rejoice to thee. Blessed art thou, O modest freedom, of the stand of your Mary. On this day the wanton pride of the serpent is brought to naught. For the binding of the curse of our forefathers destroyed. We therefore cry aloud to thee, O Holy Spirit, O soul full of grace. O ye servants, praise the Lord, alleluia. Praise ye the Hallelujah. 
our humiliation, the Lord remembered us. Alleluia. For his mercy endureth forever. Alleluia. And redeemed us from our enemies. Alleluia. For his mercy endureth forever. Alleluia. He that giveth. Why do ye count the living among the dead? For as God, he is 
risen from the sepulchre. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. We worship the Father, and His Son, and the Holy Spirit, the Holy Trinity, one in essence. And we cry out with the seraphim, Holy, 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 I thou Stand to God, who also in their works for thou hast saved the race of men. The captivity of Zion has thou brought forth out of Babylon. Draw me also from the passions unto my power. The captivity of Zion has thou put forth out of Babylon. Draw me also from the passions unto thy power. In the south they that so with holy tears shall reap sheaves of wheat in the joy of life everlasting. In the south they that 
so with godly tears shall reap sheaves of wheat to the joy of life everlasting. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, by the Holy Spirit, there is and every good gift. For he does shine forth together with the Father and the Son, in him all things live and move. By the Holy Spirit there is every good gift, for he does shine forth together with the Father and the Son. In him all things live and rule. Except the Lord fill the house of virtues in vain do we labor. As so long as he protecteth the soul, no one shall take our city. Except the Lord fill the house of virtues in vain do we labor. As so long as he protecteth the soul, no one shall take our city. May by the Spirit give me sons the reward of the fruit of the womb. The saints are ever with thee, O Christ, as with the Father. May by the Spirit to be sons the reward of the fruit of the womb. The saints are ever with thee, O Christ, as with the Father. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Spirit, of sanctity and wisdom are discerned. For he giveth me to all creation. Let us worship him, for he is God with the Father and the Word. Now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. In the Holy Spirit, of sanctity and wisdom are discerned. For he giveth me to all creation. Let us worship him, for he is God with the Father and the Word. They that fear the Lord are blessed. They walk in the paths of the commandments, and they shall lead of every life giving fruit. They that fear the Lord are blessed. They walk in the paths of the commandments, and they shall lead of every life giving fruit. Rejoice, O chief shepherd, as all behold is round about thy table, thy children's children bearing branches of good work. Rejoice, O chief shepherd, as thou behold is round about thy table, thy children's children bearing branches of good work. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and the Holy Spirit, in the Holy Spirit is all about the glory. From him there is grace and life to all creation. For he is praised with the Father and the Word. Let us now and ever into the ages of ages, amen. In the Holy Spirit is all the wealth of glory. From him there is grace and life to all creation. For he is praised with the Father and the Word. Proclaim from day to day the good tidings of the salvation. song, sing unto the Lord all the earth. Proclaim from day to day the good tidings of the salvation of our God. Lord, have mercy. And it came to pass that he, when Elizabeth 
whispered the salutation of Mary, the babe leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit, and she spake out with a loud voice and said, Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For behold, as soon as the voice of thy salutation sounded in my ear, the babe leaped in my womb for joy. And blessed is she that believed, for there shall be a fulfillment of those things which have been spoken to her from the Lord. And Mary said, My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior. For he hath looked upon the loneliness of his handmaiden, for behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. For the Mighty One hath done great things to me, and holy is his name. And Mary abode with her about three months, and returned Jerome. <laughs> ah. Christ, worship our holy Lord Jesus, who is alone without sin. We worship the cross of Christ, we praise and glorify the holy resurrection. With our to God, we know none other beside thee, we call upon thy name. Come, all ye faithful, let us worship Christ's holy resurrection. For we hold through the cross, joy hath come to the whole world. For by blessing the Lord, we praise his resurrection. He endured the cross for us, and by death destroyed death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy. And according to the multitude of my compassions, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my iniquity, and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned, and done this evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words, and prevail when thou art For me, conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, thou hast loved truth, and hidden the secret things of thy wisdom, hast thou made manifest unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with his soap, and I shall be made clean. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt make me to hear joy and gladness. The folks that be humble, they shall rejoice. Turn thy face <coughs> away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of thy salvation, and with thy governing spirit establish me. I shall teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall turn back unto thee. Deliver me from the guiltiness of God, the God of my salvation. Thy tongue shall rejoice in thy righteous hand. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hast desired sacrifice, I have given it. With all burnt offerings, thou shalt not be pleased. A sacrifice unto God is a broken spirit, a heart that is broken and humble God will not despise. The good O Lord, in thy good pleasure unto Sahaya, and let the walls of Jerusalem be filled in. Then shall we be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and all burnt offerings. Then shall they offer books upon thy altar, and have mercy on us, O God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, by the Oh, 
according to thy great mercy, and according to the multitude of thy compassions, but of my transgression. Today, Gabriel announced the good tidings unto her that is full of grace. Rejoice, so unwedded maiden, who has not known wedlock. Be not dismayed at my strange form, neither be afraid. Praising thee, for us unto all life, I cry 
Thus he kissed your roof and be the manner of thy conception, O Virgin. But this is beyond finding out. The Holy Spirit shall overshadow thee in his creative power and shall bring it to pass. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, my forefather in accepting the serpent's counsel was banished from divine delight, and therefore I fear thy strange salutation. Be wary lest I slip. and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. I that stand in the presence of God, am sent to declare unto thee the divine will, O most spotless virgin. Why fearest thou me, who rather am afraid of thee? Why, O lady, art thou in awe of me, who am in holy awe of thee? I can again teach that is grateful. Lord, have mercy. Help us save with the mercy and us. Thank you to the God of the grace. Most holy Theotokos, Salvation to the world, the tyranny of the foe is destroyed by death. Glory to God, glory to thee. Welcoming the worship, full joy of thy life bearing cross today, O Christ, we celebrate beforehand thine all holy passion, which thou hast wrought for the salvation of the world, O Savior, as omnipotent. Glory to God, glory to thee. Today there is joy in heaven and on earth, for the sign of the cross is made manifest unto the world, for having been set up before us. The thrice blessed cross poureth forth everlasting grace for them that worship it. Glory to thee, God, glory to thee. What shall we offer unto thee, O Christ? For thou hast given us thy precious cross to worship, whereon thine all holy blood was emptied out, and whereon thy flesh was fixed with nails. As we kiss it now, we give thanks to thee. O Holy Trinity, our God, have mercy on us. I undividedly praise the three hypostases of the one Godhead of a simple nature. I proclaim the dogma of the beginningless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, of one throne, one lordship, one kingdom, one everlasting dominion. Most holy mother of God, save us. Thou alone hast appeared as the all marvelous, as the all marvelous marvel of women, O pure virgin, a formidable matter, for thou madest nature new in conceiving without seed, and remaining again a virgin as thou wast before, for he that was born of thee is true God. Most holy mother of God, save us. 
I have heard the prophet of old foretelling the birth of Emmanuel from a sacred virgin, yet I long to know how shall mortal nature withstand union with the Godhead. Bush, the, the bush that received the flame and yet remained unconsumed, made known the ineffable mystery concerning the unwedded maiden, full of grace, for after childbearing a pure one, thou shalt remain ever virgin. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. O Gabriel, herald of truth, shining with the splendor of the Almighty God, tell me truly, how shall I with my purity remaining unchanged, bear in the flesh the incorporeal word. Both now and from the ages of ages, amen. I stand before thee in fear as a servant before his lady, and in dread I fear to look upon thee now, O maiden. The word of the Father shall descend upon thee like rain upon a fleece, even as it hath seemed good to him. Glory to the holy resurrection, O Lord. Thou shonest from the grave, O never setting light, making incorruption to flash upon the world like lightning, and mitigating the sorrow of death from the ends of the earth, since thou art compassionate. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. Cleansed by abstinence, let us draw nigh with songs of praise, fervently embracing the all holy wood, whereon Christ being crucified hath saved the world, since he is compassionate. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. Today the orders of angels dance in gladness at the worship of thy cross, for thereby thou smotest the demons, martial arrays in pieces, O Christ, saving mankind. Glory to thee, God, glory to thee. The church is made known as another paradise like that of old, having the life-bearing tree, even thy cross, O Lord, from which when we touch it, we partake of immortality. O Holy Trinity, of God, mercy on us. I glorify three that are jointly without beginning and of the one essence, God the Father, Son, and Spirit, one light and threefold splendor, a kingdom of one power in an unmingled identity. Most holy mother of God, save us. Thou was conceived by the law of nature, yet above the law, for thy childbirth alone was without seed. Fearful even to consider or to express is the manner of thy giving of birth, O oh, blameless virgin. Most holy mother of God, save us. I am not able to understand the exactness of thy words, for there have oft times been miracles, wonders wrought by divine power, symbols and figures under the law, but never hath a virgin given birth without knowing a man. Most holy mother of God, save us. Thou didst think it strange, O oh, blameless virgin, and strange indeed is the wonder wrought in thee, for thou alone receivest in thy womb the king of all, who shall be incarnate, and it is thou who art prefigured in the words and dark sayings of the prophets and in the symbols of the law. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. He whom nothing can contain, whom none may look upon, how can he dwell in the womb of a virgin that he himself hath fashioned? And how shall I conceive God the Word, who with the Father and the Spirit is without beginning? Who he who promised thy forefather David that of the fruit of his loins he will set upon the throne of his kingdom, hath chosen thee the only comeliness of Jacob as his rational dwelling place. Glory to the holy resurrection, O Lord. After spiting death and pieces of Christ, thou dost arise as a great king, calling us back out of the storehouses of Hades, unto the enjoyment of the kingdom of the heavens, into the land of immortality. Glory to thee, God, glory to thee. With divine songs, ye faithful, let us clap our hands and cry out in jubilation to God, fervently kissing the cross of the Lord, for it gusheth up with a fountain of holiness unto all who are in the world. Glory to thee, God, glory to thee. The voice of the songwriter is fulfilled on this day, for behold, we worship the footstool of thine immaculate feet, O Almighty, thine august cross, the thrice long poor tree. Glory to thee, God, glory to thee. That wood which the mortar among prophets saw cast into thy bread, which is thy cross, O compassionate Lord, we kiss and embrace while praising thy bonds and burial and the spear and the nails. Glory to thee, God, glory to thee. Thy holiness, thy holy cross, which thou didst consent to bear upon thy shoulders, O Christ, and to be lifted upon it, and to be crucified in the flesh, we ardently embrace, bringing away strength against the invisible enemies. O Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. I praise a unity in three persons and a trinity worshipped in one nature. God is the three together, a light of three sons, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go down and pronounce the each. Most holy mother of God, save us. The very greatest wonder of wonders appeared in thee, O spotless you lamb, for thou brought us forth the lamb that taketh away the sin of the world. Importune him earnestly for them that sing thy praise. Most holy mother of God, save us. Receive the joyous sound of thy words, O Gabriel, I am filled with divine gladness, for thou speakest to me of joy, and everlasting joy dost thou declare. Most holy mother of God, save us. Divine joy is given to thee, O Mother of God, to thee doth all creation cry, rejoice, O Bride of God, 
For thou alone, O pure one, was ordained to be the mother of the Son of God. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Let the condemnation of Eve be now disannulled through me. Through me, let what is owed be given back today. Through me, let the ancient debt be rendered in full. God promised for Father Abraham that in his seed the nations would be blessed, O pure virgin, and through thee today the promise receiveth its fulfillment. Lord have mercy. Most holy were affixed from Golgotha by Pilate, two for the thieves and the one for the giver of life. Hades beheld it and said to those below, O my ministers and my hosts, who is it that hath fixed a nail in my heart? Of a sudden he pierced me with a wooden spear, and I am rent asunder. In mine inwards I hurt, in my belly I am pained, and in my senses my, my spirit bursteth forth, and I am compelled to spew forth Adam and Adam's children, who were given me by a tree. For a tree is leading them again into paradise. For a tree is leading them again into paradise. <laughs> when the bodiless one learned the secret command, in haste he came and stood before Joseph's dwelling, and spake unto the maiden who knew not wedlock, the one who hath bowed the heavens by his descent, is held and contained and changing wholly in thee. Seeing him receiving the form of a servant in thy womb, I stand in awe and cry to thee, Rejoice thou bride and wedded. Rejoice thou bride and wedded. To thee, the champion leader, we thy flock dedicate a feast of victory and of thanksgiving, as ones rescued out of sufferings of Theotokos. But as thou art one with might which is invincible, from all dangers that can be, do thou deliver us that we may cry to thee. Rejoice, thou bride and wedded. Rejoice, thou bride and wedded. An angel in the chiefest among them was sent from heaven to cry, Rejoice to the mother of God. And beholding thee, O Lord, taking bodily form, he stood in awe. And with his bodiless voice, he cried aloud to her such things as these. Rejoice thou through whom joy shall shine forth. Rejoice thou through whom the curse shall be blotted out. Rejoice thou the restoration of fallen Adam. Rejoice thou the redemption of the tears of Eve. Rejoice height hard to climb for human thought. Rejoice depth hard to explore even for the eyes of angels. Rejoice for thou art the throne of the king. Rejoice for thou sustainest the sustainer of all. Rejoice star that causes the sun to appear. Rejoice womb of the divine incarnation. Rejoice thou through whom creation is renewed. Rejoice thou through whom the creator becometh a babe. Rejoice thou bride unwedded. Rejoice thou bride unwedded. Synaxarian, on this the 25th of this month of March, we celebrate the Annunciation of our Most Holy Lady, the Theotokos and Ever Virgin Mary. The angel announced as son to the Virgin, the great angel of the Father's great counsel. On the 25th, the angel spake of joy unto Mary. On this day, a righteous father, Sinufius, the worker of signs, reposed in peace. The tomb giveth no sign of Sinufius's power, who with the sign of the cross brought signs and great wonders. On this day, the holy martyrs, Pelagia and Theodosia, were perfected in martyrdom by the sword. The sword <coughs> brought Pelagia and Theodosia, a sea of God, the Word's gifts and his mercies. On this day, the holy martyr, a former executioner who confessed Christ, having been cast into a gloomy dungeon, was perfected in martyrdom. The headsman was condemned to a darkling prison for professing Christ who brought light out of darkness. On this day we commemorate our father among the saints, Tikhon the Confessor, Patriarch of Moscow. Tikhon, strong with the meekness and God of Moses, led his people through a red sea of afflictions. On this day, the third Sunday of the fast, we celebrate the worship of an honored and life-giving cross. Let 
let the whole earth bow before the cross in worship, whereby it learned to worship thee, O divine word. By the power of thy cross, O Christ God, preserve us also from the effrontery of the evil one, and deem us worthy to worship thy divine passion and thy life-giving resurrection, having passed through the course of the forty days untroubled, and have mercy on us, since thou art good and the friend of man, and amen. Glory to the Holy Resurrection, Lord. Let us arise from the grave on the third day as one that sleepeth, O Lord, traveling down <coughs> gatekeepers of deities with divine power, and raising up the ancient forefathers, O thou only blessed and most glorious God of our fathers. Glory to you, Lord, glory to thee. Dancing for joy with the harp of song, let us be exceeding glad today, O ye peoples, on this, the veneration of the cross, as we glorify Christ who is nailed thereto, even the only blessed and most glorious God of our Father. Glory to thee, God, glory to thee. O thou who didst show thy cross, which was an instrument of death, to be the worship, workshop of life embraced by the whole world, sanctify us who worship it, O all compassionate, who art the only blessed and most glorious God of our fathers. Glory to thee, God, glory to thee. O thou who alone art merciful and compassionate, enlighten and sanctify O only Jesus, them that venerate thy cross and divine passion with faith, O thou only blessed and most glorious God of our fathers. O Holy Trinity, our God of mercy in us. I praise the Godhead in unity and three hypostases, for the Father is light, the Son is light, the Spirit is light, remaining in the visible light, shining with the natural <coughs> unity and the three rays of the person. Most Holy Mother of God, save us. Thou art the many name preaching of all the prophets, for thou dost prove to be the gate of God, a golden vessel, a holy land, O virgin bride of God, conceiving in the flesh Jesus Christ, the most glorious God of our fathers. Most holy mother of God, save us. Bringing me bright tidings of joy, even the divine proclamation that the immaterial life, for his great compassion's sake, will be united to the substance of a body. Thou now priest unto me, blessed, O all pure, is the fruit of thy womb. Most holy mother of God, save us. Rejoice, O lady, rejoice, O virgin, altogether pure. Rejoice, vessel of God. Rejoice, lampstand of the light, the recalling of Adam and the redemption of Eve. Holy mountain, illustrious sanctuary, and bridal chamber of immortality. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. The coming of the Holy Spirit hath purified my soul and sanctified my body and hath made it a temple able to contain God, a tabernacle divinely adorned, a living shrine, and the most, <coughs> and the most pure mother of life. Both down and down to the ages of ages, amen. I behold thee as a lamp of many lights, and as a bridal chamber wrought by God, O all spotless virgin. Do thou, as an ark of gold, receive now the giver of the law, who is well pleased to rescue man's corrupted nature through thee. Glory to the Holy Resurrection, O Lord. Why do you hold myrrh in your hands, whom, ye, whom seek ye? Crieth the young man now, who hath appeared in the grave. Christ, who is our God, is risen, raising up the nature of mortals from the nether vaults of Hades. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Rejoice, O thrice blessed and divine tree, O cross, thou light of those in darkness, that hath foreshown the rays of Christ's arising unto the four ends of the world by thine illumination. Deem all the faithful worthy to attain to Pascha. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Today the cross of Christ, the tree anointed with the myrrh of life, the myrrh of the divine treasury of myrrh, giveth forth its fragrance, let us smell its divine, divinely breathing sweetness, worshiping it with faith unto the ages. Glory to thee, God, glory to thee. Come, O prophet Eliseus, tell us clearly, what is that wood which thou didst let down into the water? It is the cross of Christ, whereby we were drawn up out of the depth of, of corruption, worshiping it with faith unto the ages. Glory to your God, glory to thee. When Jacob prefigured thy cross in ancient times, O Christ, foreseeing thy kingdom, he worshipped the top of Joseph's staff, divine staff, that awesome scepter, which with faith we now worship unto the ages. O Holy Trinity, our God, have mercy on us. I glorify one essence and three persons, even the three that are unmingled in the individual persons. Neither in form do I divide the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, for he is one God over all unto the ages. Most holy mother of God, save us. Thou alone hast been shown to be a virgin among mothers, O Mary, bride of God, when without a man thou gavest birth to Christ the Savior, while preserving the seal of thy virginity. Thee do we the faithful call blessed unto the ages. Most holy mother of God, save us. Every mortal thought is vanquished as it searcheth out the strange things that tell, thou tellest me, replied the virgin. I delight in thy words, yet I am afraid, fearing lest thou deceive me like Eve and send me far from God. 
But lo, thou criest out, bless ye the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. Most holy mother of God, save us. Behold, thy perplexity is resolved, said Gabriel, to these things. For thou hast well said that this matter is hard to grasp. Be persuaded thereby by words of thine own lips. Doubt it not as deceit, but believe it as very deep. For I joyfully cry out, bless ye the Lord, all ye works of the Lord. Most holy mother of God, save us. The law given by God to mortals, said the blameless virgin in return, that it is that childbirth proceeded from mutual love. In no wise do I know the pleasure of a spouse. How then sayest thou that I should give birth? I fear lest thou speak deceitfully. Yet behold, thou Christ thou, bless you the Lord, all your works of the Lord. We bless Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Lord. Again the angel cried, The words thou speakest to me, O most honorable maiden, concern the common manner whereby mortal men are born. But I proclaim unto thee the true God, incarnate of thee, as he alone knoweth, beyond word and understanding. <coughs> Therefore I joyfully cry, Bless you the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Both now and of the ages of ages, Amen. Thou seemest to me to speak the truth, to declare the virgin, for thou art come as a messenger of common joy. Therefore, since I am purified in soul by the Spirit, be it unto me according to thy word. Let God dwell within me, unto whom I cry with thee. Bless you, the Lord, all your works of the Lord. Glory to the Lord, the Lord. Thou dost descend into the grave, O giver of life and God, and thou dost burst all the bar bolts and bars, and dost raise up the dead who cry. Glory to thee. Thine arising, O Christ, omnipotent Savior. Glory to your God, glory to thee. Thy grave, O Christ, has poured forth life for me. For thou who rulest over life, is come and cry to them that dwell in the grave. Ye that be long, be loose, for I'm come as a ransom for the world. Glory to your God, glory to thee. With hymns of praise, let all the trees of the wood skip for joy, as they behold their namesake, the tree of the cross, being ardently embraced today, whose horn Christ hath exalted, as the divine David prophesied. Glory to your God, glory to thee. By a tree I was put to death. Thee I found to be the tree of life on my Christ-bearing cross, my indestructible guardian and mighty strength against demons. As I worship thee today, I cry, sanctify me by thy glory. Glory to your God, glory to thee. Rejoice, be glad, O Church of God, worshiping the thrice-blessed wood of the all-holy cross of Christ today, unto which the orders of angels minister, and before which they stand in fear. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. I worship thee, a trinity in persons, a unity in nature, O Holy Godhead, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, one principle, one kingdom, ruling over all. Both well, down for them to the ages of ages, Son. Thou art the great mountain, wherein Christ hath dwelt, as the divine David doth cry, through thee we have been exalted unto to heaven, adopted as sons by the Spirit, O oh, oh, blessed God's here, Moses was prefigured, thy cross will be led through the Red Sea, thy people Israel, as he smote the water with his staff and sang unto thee, that song of the Exodus, in thanksgiving, O Christ our God. Christ, by thy cross establish me on the rock of faith, lest my mind be shaken by the attacks of the hostile enemy. For thou alone art holy. When the great luminary which shall be beheld be lifted up upon the cross, almost mighty, he was to his grace and hid them. And in fear the whole creation praised and long suffering, for the earth was filled with thy praise. Rising early, we praise thee, O Savior of the world, and we found peace through <coughs> thy cross. Whereby the last renew the race of man, leading us toward the unwaning light. Lord, John is called the holy cross and a type, with hands outstretched in the sea, not to swelly, prefiguring thy divine cross over, and straight forth again be rescued from the peace for thy power, O Savior. Now he that saved the children from burning flames, himself having taken flesh, cometh on the earth, 
and be nailed unto the cross. Surely give us salvation unto our soul, the only most blessed God of our fathers, a true supremely glorious. We praise, we bless, and we worship the Lord, cast into the dead of the earth, and this lion so great among the prophets, by his hand you'll stretch out his hands in the type and form of a cross. I must be saved, I'll skip from being departed by them, while praising and blessing by his God unto the ages. Let us magnify the Theotokos and the Mother of the Light, honoring her <coughs> with him. Proclaim, O Earth, the good tidings of creature, praise all ye the heavens, the glory of God. Let the candles be uninitiated in no wise, such a living ark of God. And let the lips of the faithful chant unceasingly to the Theotokos with the voice of the Shouting gladness, rejoice so full of grace, the Lord is with thee. O be Lord, of the tidings of great joy, praise all ye heavens, the glory of God. Conceiving God in a manner past understanding of heaven, that has deluded the ordinances of nature. For lo, lo, but Lord of thy nature, thou hast escaped the laws of motherhood, in giving birth, wherefore as is me thou hearest, rejoice, so full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Proclaim over earth the good tidings of great joy, praise all ye heavens, the glory of God. How is it that the heavens will go pure virgin, for no tongue cannot declare, for thou showest forth the thing unknown to nature. And far beyond the bonds of common childbirth, therefore as is me thou hearest, <coughs> rejoice so full of grace, the Lord is with thee. O claim over the good tidings of great joy, praise all ye heavens, the glory of God. The sacred scriptures speak of the mystic, the O Mother, O the Most High. For when Jacob saw the letter, the procured the apples, he said, Here on God shall tread. Therefore, as he asks me, thou hearest, rejoice, so full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Proclaim O earth the good tidings of great joy. Praise all ye God, and the glory of God. The bush and the fire showed a strange wonder to Moses, the revealer of sacred things. Seeking its fulfillment in the course of time, he said, I shall see it accomplished and a pure maiden. To her as the Theotokos shall live be said, Rejoice so full of grace, the Lord is with thee. O Lord, ever and unto the ages of ages, Amen. Proclaim over the good tidings of great joy. Praise all ye heavens, the glory of God. Daniel calleth thee a spiritual mountain. Isaiah calleth thee the birth giver of God. Gideon beheld thee as of thee. And David called thee sanctuary. All another called thee gay. As for Gabriel, Gabriel he crieth out unto thee. Rejoice, so full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Proclaim, O earth, the good tidings of great joy. Praise all ye heavens, the glory of God. Let the candle be uninitiated in no wise, such the living ark of God. And let the lips of the faithful chant unceasingly to the Theotokos with the voice of the angel. And let them shout in gladness, rejoice so full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Again, we repeat the straight Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, thank you for God of the grace. Amen. Calling to memory, call 
deep enlightenment in our hearts and our souls today through the grace divine. Of him willingly fix to thee who overturned the cloudful coast of Virginia and of the Polish the ancient curse. Proclaim from day to day the good tidings of the salvation of our God. A people known from the faults of heaven to Nazareth. Gabriel cried the great king unto Mary the virgin. Rejoice, O all pure maid, thou shalt bring forth the son, who existed ere Adam was. He is the maker of all and the ransomer. Of all them that cry, rejoice to thee. O sing unto the Lord, and do song, sing unto the Lord of the earth. From heaven, Gabriel brought the good tidings full of joy. Unto the Holy Virgin, crying out, rejoice to her. In thy womb shall thou both conceive and contain, if all things cannot contain. And shall be seen as the mother of in the shrine, from the father of the morning star. Proclaim from day to day the good tidings of the salvation of our God, from the beginning with Father, so go eternal word. In his extreme compassion and immeasurable mercy, parting up from things above cometh below, to take pity on us who fell. And having taken a form that is not his own, he assumeth Adam's poverty. I will confess the Lord of my whole heart, I will tell of all thy wonders. The Lord of all taught us by a parable to flee from the high-mindedness of the evil Pharisees. And he instructed all men not to be high-minded in thought of all that which they are. And he himself becoming a pattern and example, emptied himself even unto the cross and death. Wherefore, together with the publican, let us give thanks, saying, that who did suffer the passion for our sins, and yet is remain an impossible God, rescue us from the passions and save our souls. Glory to Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Today is revealed the mystery that is from eternity, and the Son Who was incarnate in thee? Faith was taken captive, Adam was re 
people the curse was on us. He must be death, was put to death, and we were brought to life. Wherefore with him we cry aloud, blessed art thou, O Christ our God, who has been thus called these, glory be to thee. Glory to thee, who has shown forth the light, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, good will among men. We praise thee, we bless thee, we worship thee, we glorify thee, we give thanks to thee for thy great glory. O Lord, heaven, the King, God the Father Almighty, O Lord, the only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, and the Holy Spirit.
Oh, oh.
doubts at the bountiful words around him. He is clothed with the robe of martyrdom, and is smitten by a hand of clay. He that fashioned man with his hand, he is crucial, <coughs> is but he that wrapped
Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. I can pray for our sisters who are about to pass near another way and call it by the past to pass the For them the minister and minister of the world to his holy conduct. Lord, have mercy. the children of the young appearing glorious in the seraphim, be without corruption, gives birth to God the word, the very thing which I proceed to be magnified. Glory to you, O God of the Holy Spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Holy Father, bless. He's in the world to take part of the intercessions of the Lord, and of the Holy Mother, whose pronunciation we celebrate by the power of the everlasting cross, the worship we celebrate. By the protection of the Medal of Heaven, Father, the power of the supplication of the Medal of Lord, the Holy Glory, of the Apostle, the Holy Glory, the Glory, the Glory, the Glory, the Glory, the Glory, the the Holy Glory, the Apostle, the Glory, 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 the the Glory, 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 the the Glory, 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 the the Glory, 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 the Whose memory celebrates the Holy Saint and mercies and sin of Amen. 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 Come with us, first from the Father, and before our King and God. Come with us, first from the Father, and before our Christ, the King and God. Come with us, first from the Father, and before our Christ, the King and our God. Under my words, give your Lord, hear my cry. Tend unto the voice of my supplication, O King and my God. Come to thee, will I pray, O Lord. In the morning, down to my glories, in the morning, shall I stand before thee. And thou shalt look upon me, for not a God that will sin iniquity art thou. He that worketh thee will shall not dwell near thee, nor shall transgress his life before thine eyes. Now say all them that work iniquity, thou shalt destroy all them that speak a lie. A man that is bloody and deceitful shall the Lord abhor, but as for me and the multitude of thy mercy shall I go into thy house. I shall worship towards the holy temple in fear of thee. O Lord, guide me the way of thy righteousness, because mine enemies speak straight my way before thee. For in the mouth there is no truth, the heart is vain. Their throat is an open sap, for with their tongues have they spoken deceitfully, judge them, O God. Let them fall down on account of their own devisings, according to the multitude of their ungodliness. Cast them out for they even bitter thee, O Lord. 
and let all men be glad that hope in thee. They shall have rejoice and bounds of roll among them. And also glory to thee that love thy name, thou hast blessed the righteous. O Lord, is with us, he will like a pleasure has so crowned us. Lord, thou hast been a refuge in generation and generation before the mountains came to be and the earth was formed in the world. Even from everlasting to everlasting thou art. Turn not man away into lowliness. See thou said, turn back, you sons of men. For a thousand years in thine eyes, O Lord, but as yesterday that is past and is watched in the night. Things of no account shall the years, years be in the morning like grass shall men pass away. In the morning shall he bloom and pass away, and the evening shall he fall and wither and dry. For we have fainted away in the wrath, and in thy anger have we been troubled. Thou hast set our iniquities before thee, our life span is in the light of thy countenance. For all our days are faded away, and in the wrath we faint to the weary, and yours are like a spider spot out their tail. As for the days of our years in this span, they be three score years and ten. And if we be in strength, may have four score years, and what is more than these is toil and travail. For mom must come upon us, and we should be chastened. Who knoweth the might of thy wrath, and not a fear thee who can recount thine anger. So make thy right hand known to me, and to them that in their heart are instructed in wisdom. Return, O Lord, how long have been thou treated concerning thy servants? We were filled in the morning with thy mercy, O Lord, and we rejoiced and were glad. And all the days, let us be glad for the days were thou hast humbled us, for the years were we saw evils. And look upon thy servants and upon thy works, and do thy bad the sons, and let the brightness of the Lord of God be upon us, and the work of our hands do the God right upon us. Yea, the work of our hands do the God right. Of mercy and judgment will I sing unto thee, O Lord. I will tell him of understanding and a blameless path. When will thou come unto me? I have walked in the innocence of my heart, in the midst of my house. I have no lawful thing before mine eyes. The works of transgressions I have hated. A crooked heart hath not cleaved down to me. As for the wicked man, I turned from me, I knew him not. Him that privily talked against his neighbor did I drive away from me. With him was I was proud, in his heart and say, should I did not eat. Mine eyes were upon the faithful of the land, that they might sit with me. The man that walked in the blameless path, he ministered unto me. The proud doer dwelt not in the midst of my house. The speaker of unjust things proud did not before mine eyes. In the morning I slew all the sinners of the land, utterly to destroy the city of the Lord, all them the work iniquity. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the age of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Let the heavens rejoice, let earthly things be glad, for the Lord hath brought might with his arm. He hath trampled upon death by death. The firstborn of the dead hath he become. From the belly of Hades he hath, hath he delivered us, and hath great mercy, granted great mercy to the world. Save, O Lord, thy people, and bless thine inheritance. Grant thou unto the faithful victory over adversaries, and by the power of thy cross do thou preserve thy commonwealth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Today is the fountainhead of our salvation, and the manifestation of the mystery which was from eternity. The Son of God becometh the virgin Son, and Gabriel announces the good tidings of grace. For this cause let us cry to the Mother of God with him. Rejoice, thou who art full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Both now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. What shall we call thee, O full of grace? Heaven, for thou hast made the sun of righteousness to dawn forth. Paradise, for thou hast brought forth the flower of immortality. Virgin, for thou hast remained incorrupt. Pure mother, for thou hast held in thine holy embrace a son who is the God of all. Do thou entreat him to save our souls. My steps do thou direct according to thy saying, and let no iniquity have dominion over me. Deliver me from the false accusation of men, and I'll keep thy commandments. Make thy face to shine upon thy servant, and teach me thy statutes, that my mouth be filled with thy praise, O Lord, that I may have thy glory and thy majesty all the day long. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the age of ages. Amen. All holy trinity of mercy on us, Lord, be gracious unto our sins, master, pardon our iniquities. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever and unto the age of ages. Amen. Our Father, which art in the heavens, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. On this day, thou, thou uh, on this day, didst thou rise out of the grave and didst lead us from the bars and gates of death? Thou art great in compassion. On this day, both Adam dances and Eve rejoiceth, and with them all of the patriarchs and the prophets chant unceasing hymns and praise of the godly power of thy dominion and might. 
No longer doth the flaming sword guard the gate of Eden, for a marvelous quenching has come upon it, even the tree of the cross. The sting hath been taken from death, and the victory from Hades. And thou, my Savior, hast appeared unto those in Hades, saying, Enter ye again into paradise. When the bodiless one learned of the secret command, in haste he came and stood before Joseph's dwelling, and spake unto the maiden who knew not wedlock, the one who hath bowed the heavens by his descent is held and contained and changing holy in thee. Seeing him receiving the form of a servant in thy womb, I stand in awe and cry to thee, Rejoice, thou bride and wedded. To thee, the cha champion leader, we thy flock dedicate a feast of victory and thanksgiving as one's rescued out of suffering, so Theotokos, but as art one with might, which is invincible from all dangers that can be, do thou deliver us that we may cry to thee, Rejoice, thou bride and wedded. Lord of mercy, 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 now, who at all times and at every hour in heaven and on earth are worshipped and glorified of Christ God, who art long suffering, plenteous in mercy, most compassionate, who lovest the righteous and hast mercy on sinners, who callest all to salvation through the promise of good things to come, receive, O Lord, our prayers of this hour and guide life through thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, make chaste our bodies, correct our thoughts, purify our intentions, and deliver us from every sorrow, evil, and pain. Compass us about with thy holy angels, the guided and guarded by their array. We may attain to the unity of faith and the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, unto the ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and beyond compare, more glorious than the seraphim. Thee who thou corrupt and gave us birth to God the Word, the very Theotokos, thee do we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Amen. And Christ, the true light, who doth enlighten and sanctify every man that cometh into the world. Let the light thy countenance be signed upon us, that in it we may behold the unapproachable light, and guide our steps in the performance of thy commandments, by the intercessions of thine only man, God, mother, and of all thy saints. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Holy Father, bless. Rejoice thou who art full 